So guys, Connor Ben destroys Jesse Cuviola um, in two rounds. Now, I know I've just said that he's destroyed him in two rounds, but you know, it was a very shaky start. Now it looked like to me, uh, Connor Ben was gonna get beat or knocked out in the fight. You know, first round he came out, he was getting hit with clean shots. Uh, a very leaky defense, he gets hit a lot. Um, but I guess that's what makes Conor Ben really exciting. Conor Ben's a very, very exciting father, f fighter, just like his father was. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this kid watching him. I think he's very exciting. I think he's talented. I think he's he's vulnerable. Um, you know, we saw that against in the Paynord fight. Uh, but he's a very, very he's got he's got a bright future, of course. Uh, but there are he is vulnerable. There are weaknesses there. Um, his defense, like I said, is is very very leaky. He came out first round very open, and the guy was catching him clean. Uh, this guy was of he had pedigree, you know. He had he had gone rounds with Sammy Vargas, um, you know. I, I think he I think he went on lost on decision to Vargas. So you know um, he definitely had been in there with some really good fighters, and you know for, I think Ben's Matthew Macklin said it on 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 commentary that. Um, um, Ben's best um, defense is attack. He's not a good enough boxer um, to outbox this guy, so he has to go on the attack, and that's what he did. And he caught him with a shot, hurt him, and then pounced on him and did finished him. It was very impressive, but yes, he managed to hurt this guy and get him out of there. But he's not going to be able to do keep doing that against as he keeps moving up. Uh, the problem is with Ben; he looks like he lacks boxing ability like he doesn't have the greatest boxing um ability out there so uh he's hoping that he can outfight you if you go and have a scrap toe to toe with him um you're giving him a chance but he does look vulnerable the guy hit him a couple of times and his legs went his legs definitely stiffened under him and this guy wasn't even known for being a big puncher now he's in a welterweight division that's got killers in there as you keep moving up the way you know uh levels you know, Ben's going to find it very difficult to fight the way he does and be successful. He's going to have to definitely improve his boxing ability and, and talent in order for him to get uh, anywhere in this welterweight division. Because right now you see too many vulnerabilities and the welterweight division is too strong and too depth. And I'm not even talking about the elite top guys. I'm just talking about the guys below that level, like lower level, like, you know, even European guys, even guys of... You know, British, uh, it's not easy in the welterweight division. It's one of the most stat-packed stat divisions in the whole of boxing. So I think Conor Ben's definitely going to have to improve himself. Um, he looks like he's a guy that likes to have a scrap. But if you have any kind of boxing kind of nous, any any kind of, um, you know, boxing brain, it feels to me like you'd be able to, you know, outwork and outbox uh, Conor Ben. So Conor Ben's going to have to work on that. But, you know, let's look at the positives. The positive is that he's very exciting. Every time I've seen Conor Ben fight, he's been very exciting. Uh, he gets the uh, grandstand finish. Um, he's also very vulnerable. So, you know, if he gets hit, he can be hurt. He can be put down. So, obviously, that adds to the excitement. Um, obviously, the Ben name already gives him an edge. So, you know, the, guy, the guy's got talent. The guy's definitely one to watch. Um, he's somebody that I would, I, I, I would definitely watch because he's exciting. Um, but... You know, I feel in terms of his boxing ability, he's definitely got to improve. And hopefully he is learning on the job. He's not he's not been doing this very long. He hasn't got an extensive amateur background. So, you know, anyone that hasn't got the extensive amateur uh, pedigree um, is obviously learning on the job. We saw that with Anthony Joshua when he fought Andy Ruiz that, you know, these guys are learning on the job. But obviously Anthony Joshua is at a much higher elite level, whereas Conor Ben's still fighting at, you know, British, European level you know, so he's still f uh, far off the top world level. But nevertheless, um, you know, it was a great performance. You know, not taking anything away from Ben. He put in a great performance. He managed to, in my opinion, get himself out of adversity. Because he was struggling at one point. And he managed to, he managed to overcome it, overcome the heat that, you know... Um, Cavello was was putting on him and, and you know managed to get him out there in two rounds so yeah you know it was a successful performance I'm pretty sure Eddie Ern will be happy with that performance you know he, they can definitely build Ben on, on, on you know from that performance but I will say that I don't think they should be pushing him up higher any higher levels uh, so soon because I don't think he's ready I think he's too vulnerable I don't think I don't think he's good enough yet uh, you know and I, and I think this fight and although I don't want to take anything away from Ben 
I think it was a case where he caught this guy and he hurt him. Uh, but you don't want to rush him into fights of this level or, or guys of, of much higher calibre because I'm not sure whether Ben's good enough to come through it, if I'm totally honest with you. He's a good fighter, but they've got to handle him sensibly. Um, you know, he's got a good chin, good heart. But like I said, he is vulnerable and he need they need to move him up the ranks slowly because, like I said, if they move him too quickly, I, he'll get beat. So uh, I just think they've got to manage him properly but leave your thoughts guys let me know what you thought about the performance Connor ben destroying covello in in two rounds leave your thoughts in the comment section below and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video